What's up, Unskewed fans? This is Nick, THQ Shimon and Robertson, and I'm here with senior designer Wes Bunn. To, What's up, uh, guys? We're here to take you inside the octagon, or rather inside the pride ring, with Mauricio Shogun Hua and Dan Henderson. Yeah, we're going to have to change that name, actually, instead of inside the octagon, inside the pride ring there, huh? <laughs> yeah, I think so. So what do we got here? We're taking a look at the pride entrances. Again, entrances this year are a big part. Uh, we wanted to bring the spectacle in, in, into the, to the MMA world, and, and in pride, the, the, the entrances were a huge part of the event. It's part of the, the pageantry of MMA. And, and uh, as you can see here, we have Shogun's making his entrance here, with rocking the bad boy shirt just over those little cutoff shorts. Nice look for him. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> we got the uh, got the light show going on in the background. You got Lenny Hart in there screaming, uh, screaming her lungs out. So it's definitely authentic to the Pride uh, brand. Yeah, and that's one of the things that we want to do. We want to remain authentic. That's our, our primary goal. And to give you guys a little bit of a backstory here, a little behind the scenes stuff, we did for a while have a sound alike in there, uh, Lenny Hart sound alike. Uh, and we were able to get things. We know you guys as fans wanted to be that authentic broadcast uh, presentation, so we went after her, and we were able to actually secure her. So that is officially her in the game, and I'm happy to say that. Yeah, no longer is it me screaming everyone's <laughs> names out like Lenny Hart. Which you did was a terrible. good job, though. You did pretty good. I thought you did all right. I tried. <laughs> we got Dan Henderson coming in here, and it's actually interesting. These two guys are going to meet uh, for the first time, right? First time in the UFC, not in Pride. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And these guys are, you know, big, big names in Pride, Pride legends, if you will. Um, and it's kind of surprising that they never fought over there. Yeah, I, would hoping, I was hoping that, you know, we would have saw this fight a, lot, you know, a couple years ago. It's still going to be an interesting fight uh, as we get underway here in the first round. But uh, it's going to be interesting when they do meet finally in the octagon. So, Nick, you're Shogun here, and I'm Henderson as we get underway again here in Right away, I'm starting to work that quick, the quick strikes on you, trying to interrupt your strong strikes there. Yeah, I'm trying to throw some kicks, trying to work the body a little bit, but you're doing a good job to, to stop me there. Now I'm working some feints, trying to set up that head kick, but it didn't really work for me. Yeah, I'm pretty notorious. If you ever play against me online, that's one of the strategies I like to use is just pump those quick strikes in there in your face, disrupt your, your striking attacks. Uh, again, then if, if you're privy to those, then I, you know, I'll try to set up a takedown or something like that. Uh, right now, I'm pretty confident with my striking. He's blocking. Most of your shots, and then you go for the clinch on the Yeah. <laughs> for the most part, <laughs> I am a stand-up guy. I do like to go for the knockout. Uh, I'll use the weak strikes to set it up as well. But um, mm -hmm. when I'm in pride, I like to get it to the ground, you know, work those knees to the head. Yeah, right there to the north-south that you went to. I was able to get out of it, thank God, because I don't want to be in that spot. Yeah, it's definitely a tough, uh, tough position to be in, which is cool. You know, it's different than playing with the UFC rules. Before, there are, there are positions that are a little bit safer in the UFC. Um, but when you're playing in pride, you've got to be a lot more conscious of where you are and what your opponent can do to you. Yeah, when you're on the ground in pride, to throw those knee strikes to the head, you're going to want to go to the sub position. You can do that by holding the left stick towards the opponent. Uh, that'll bring you into a different, uh, what we call a sub position of the actual position. So you'll rise to your knees from north-south, or you'll rise to your knees from side control, and that'll allow you to throw knees to the head. And if you rock them there, you know, you might be able to set up the soccer kick. Oh, yeah, from the sprawl. That's my favorite That's my favorite finish, just throwing knees to the head, rock you, and talk kick you in the face, stomp on you some more. <laughs> I might have to try to use your favorite finish on you here. Ah, as you disrupt some more of my spinning back, back fist there. Just trying to Vanderlei Sylvia there. Let's see what we got here. We're trying to work the body. I like to work the body a lot, too. Drain down your stamina a little bit. I'm definitely using a lot of feints here. Getting a little crazy with the feints, too. Maybe throwing a few too many. I'm getting predictable. Now, yeah, now you're just showing off for fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of dancing a little bit. Nick and some of the other guys on the community have gotten really, really good at the game. Us designers, we spend too much time making the game that we don't actually play our game, and sometimes we get our, our butts kicked sometimes. Well, I missed sometimes. a good opportunity for a soccer kick there, so I'm not too great yet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's shoot for the takedown on you there. Got you to the ground. Kicked me right off immediately. Going for a head kick. Trying to use my range on you. Stay just out of range. Definitely keeping those hands up blocking. I know he's going to use those ah, weak strikes to up. Them. Then I started thinking, you know what, I'm going go to the, go back to my roots, work some, uh, some clinch on you, some down here, some strikes from within the clinch, maybe try to throw you. Did, did a good job of avoiding the knees. And there I missed another soccer kick opportunity. But you're leaving, it, you're leaving it out there. I'm going to have to catch you one of these times. Yeah. Struggling, defended the takedown. Ooh, nice knee nice body. Another, ooh, left hook drops you, stopped on the face too. Uh, what? Not good, not good. Getting up. <laughs> That running knee is one of my favorite things to do after a, a failed takedown attempt or a, a, a counter grapple uh, blocking a, a shot. I do that as well. Nice feint. That was yeah. a good feint there. 
point me to the to the spinning back fist. Got you with that. I've got to start using my weak strikes more effectively. I'm starting to get lit up here a little bit. And for those of you that are new to uh, this series, uh, again here, this is the Pride uh, Fighting Championship. So the rules are obviously different. We're actually in a 10-minute round oh. this time around. As you stop Working my take knees. down there, you're going to my shoulder. Then I had to tell you that's how you go to the that's how you go to the head. So there you go. I remember th I remember this fight now. I told you how to do that. Oh, and there's that <laughs> soccer kick. <laughs> there's the finish, and you got an achievement go. on me too. What? Dunson. Got an achievement on me too. Yeah. Sometimes so there it is. Sometimes I gotta kind of school you guys and help you guys out and let you know what's going on. <laughs> and sometimes <laughs> it doesn't work to your advantage. Just give me a hint and then I drop you with it or yeah. finish you with it. So there you have it. There's inside the octagon or pride ring, uh, showing off pride mode, showing off the new strikes, the knees to the head, the soccer kicks, as you can see right here, nice. and the face stomps. Um, definitely a little bit more dangerous uh, for the fighters. But uh, you know, the brutality is an awesome aspect. It's the best part. Yeah. It's entertaining. It's fun. It's it's fun to just play with your friends and talk a lot of crap and sit next to them on the couch or even online over the headsets, talk a lot of crap. It's a lot of fun. Nothing Hope better than dropping a buddy and then stomping his face repeatedly <laughs> to demoralize him. But and getting an achievement on top of that. Yeah. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. <laughs> it's a good way to end it. So there you go. Uh, pride inside the octagon. Stay tuned for our next, uh, which will be de detailing simulation stamina settings. Yeah, I think you guys are going to enjoy that. That's something that we focus tested in, and some of our hardcore community members who've had a chance to come in and play it really enjoy it. That's my favorite mode to play on as well, uh, and we'll be happy to, to walk you guys through that when we uh, release the next video. Yep. Thanks for being here, Wes. Thanks, guys.